What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back at another YouTube video and in today's video we're going to be doing Let's talk about the Netflix Marvel TV shows as a whole um, This I've already done e each of these shows Individually ranging from Daredevil, Punisher, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones and the Defenders All videos have been posted already So check, that out, check them out if you want to hear my individual opinions But here's my thoughts exactly on this whole kind of universe I guess you could call it interconnected universe. So, anyways, let's get into this. So, definitely this uh these shows definitely had a lot of different stuff, very interesting stuff, as it was formed enough of an idea to maybe make a more adult centric, adult themed kind of an older audience version of these kind of superheroes. And using more mature superheroes like the Punisher, Jessica Jones, Daredevil. These kind of superheroes that are much more for mature audiences. I mean, some can make the argument about Luke Cage, Daredevil, and Iron Fist. But of course, we already know Jessica Jones and Punisher are really intended for more older audiences. So, I definitely thought that was really interesting. Now, firstly, before I give my thoughts, I just want to talk about the interconnectment with the MCU. Now, originally, I'm pretty sure somebody told the Netflix Marvel TV shows that they, in fact, wanted to make these shows in the MCU. And it was just on Netflix basically paying for it. So if you watched a lot of different things, you would see that they make a lot of, like, Easter eggs and they talk a lot about... Uh, they talk about a lot about stuff that's happening in the MCU, especially during the time. Like, I remember one instance in... Uh, Jessica Jones, she's like, I'm not wearing, a, I'm not holding a shield in my hand. Well, obviously not to Captain America. Or she's like, uh, talk to the green guy, which basically means Hulk. So, yeah, they don't explicitly go like Captain America, Steve Rogers, or Bruce Banner, the Hulk, or Shield, or something like that. But they do hint various times that it, it could be uh, in the MCU. But of course, I think Kevin Feige actually denounced this and said that these weren't actually technically supposed to be in the MCU. So I don't know where that stands with these shows. I mean, it kind of felt like it was all for nothing. If I I can't even lie. Um, yeah, but there's a beside that. If you want, if you guys want to uh, hear me my full opinions on it, definitely leave a comment down below or something, and I'll definitely make a video on it if there gets comments and stuff. So yeah. Uh, but let's just talk about this idea. Now, again, I, I thought this was a very good idea. Of course, with the MCU going on around, maybe you want some darker heroes, of course. And who else would give it than the uh, Netflix department, I guess, for Marvel. And I definitely think this universe, I will call it, definitely had its ups and downs. I'll say that it definitely had its ups and downs. Uh... I noticed that this, I, I'm pretty sure these, these shows were created with the intent to actually come out with the Defenders show. Just to showcase another team, maybe they could showcase it. And they could have this team go into, say, Endgame, for example. And kind of join in that portal of, uh, battle. That could definitely have been interesting as well. Maybe you would see the Defenders fighting up and suiting up. But of course that didn't happen. I very much wish that happened, but it didn't. Uh... But honestly, personally, I'll say this right, right off the bat. My personal favorite was Daredevil. And I definitely thought this was good enough for more seasons. But in all honesty, these some of these shows didn't need season 2. I mean, like, I, I don't know why Luke Cage needs season 2. I mean, I guess it was alright. Clear up some aftermath. Same with Iron, Iron Fist. Maybe they should have maybe made kind of like an aftermath show, I guess. Uh, we'll kind of exclude the Punisher for now, but like Jessica Jones, I mean, yeah, sure, she would need it, I guess, but kind of felt like it was not needed, but again, high demand for those shows, so whatever, give what whatever customers want, because, yeah, that's just Netflix, I guess, so, yeah, whatever. Uh, again, it was a very good idea, I mean, these, these shows... Definitely had some interesting, and again with the adult theme, like it executed it, it had a good idea, but some of these shows weren't executed well, especially with that rating, like Iron Fist wasn't very executed, 
uh, very well, especially with the fact that it was trying to go for a more adult thing, <coughs> but it just felt didn't feel like a very good like older audience show. Like it felt like it should have been would have worked out better maybe as a more of a kids kind of take show because honestly that's just personally what I thought. But I thought stuff that translated well is definitely The Punisher and Jessica Jones and Daredevil. I thought they managed to do really well with that in that aspect. Uh, the, one thing I did like about this a lot, casting was stellar for all shows. Uh, I thought they did a really good job in terms of casting. Each actor did pretty well. I mean, sure Finn Jones wasn't the best for Iron Fist and I I can't really think of too many people who would have been better, but I mean, he was all right. I mean, personally, I really thought Punisher's casting and Daredevil's casting stellar, very well done, very excellent in that sense. Uh, I thought definitely these shows had some stellar casting. In terms of villains, I thought it was pretty well in terms of villains. Like, The Hand was the greater enemy, and I thought it was executed decently. I wasn't too good, wasn't too bad. Uh, I guess let's get into the quick uh, order of how I like these shows. Uh, ranking last, Iron Fist, then Daredevil. And then, of course, I'm going to put Luke Cage. Or actually, I'm going to put Jessica Jones, actually, at number four. And then number three, Luke Cage. And number two, Punisher. And number one, Daredevil. Overall, my thoughts on the universe. I definitely had its ups again and it had its downs. Like, it, it wasn't... I understand what they're trying to go for, and it definitely had some good stuff. We got some good stuff out of it, like Daredevil and Punisher. But other than that, this, this was pretty... wasn't too good. I, I can't even lie. It wasn't the best it could have been. I wish it would have been better, but of course it's gone now. Uh, hopefully we'll see these characters in the MCU soon. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much it, honestly. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Uh, what was your favorite show from this Netflix was it Daredevil, Punisher, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, The Defenders? What was it? Uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.